and welcome. I'm MJ Haggis, and this is Snowrunner, and we're in the modded map region of Highway Holland, the region. Now, as you can see, we are back at a garage, and we are in the Royal BM-17. This is the modded one that I've traded into. The old one got sold, and this is the modded RB version. It is linked below if you find it interesting. It's something you want to try out. So, it's in a bright yellow to match the crane, and the crane is attached with the we've got the low saddle because we're going to pick up a trailer and we're going to do this unstable footing contract if i can show it on the screen a little bit easier for you to read we're after two lots of metal beams and four lots of concrete slabs so that's quite a big one that and the reason is unstable footing is the contract that will open up the bridge between bennington and manchester the one that has caught me out in the past so we're going to fix that bridge I actually didn't realise there was a contract for the bridge, but I was reading through them and this is the one. So, first things first, I'm going to pop this thing back into the garage and show you it. Like so, customised. Engine wise, selection of four, I've just thrown in the biggest. Simple as that. Gearboxes, a few to choose from. Free though, which is unusual. I put the off-road special 2.5. I really don't know what this relates to. It might be the gearing. 2.5, 6, 10, and 14. So I can only imagine that is the gearing. Makes sense to me. No choice of suspension. You get stock. That is your lot. That's unusual as well. But he's pretty tall anyway. So I, I'm hoping that won't matter. And we're on the, the tarmac roads. So again, shouldn't be an issue. Tires, not the hugest selection, but everything you could probably want. You've got more chained options than you do mud tires. Again, a little bit unusual. I've gone for these. They are excellent all round. So a bit OP, but never mind. Advanced medium on the old winch. No autonomous. Oh, nope. another thing to bear in mind. Full mushroom uh, or the stock, which is probably quite low, I would imagine, for the Royals. They used to have the, the ugly snorkels. However, the wee mushroom one, not so bad. So that's fitted. Hopefully again, not going for a swim. Not a massive selection of vanilla add-ons. However, it's got the saddle and it's got the crane. That's the two that I'm after. As you can see, it's got a few of the normal stuff. So pause that if you want to have a closer look. And again, windshields and beacons, bumpers, a few. I've got the handlebar one. I don't know why I stuck that on, but it's probably the better of the three few lights and beacons and condi air conditioners. I don't know why you'd, unless it's purely for aesthetics, why you'd ever put the air conditioner on it, because you're not going to benefit from it. Uh, stock exhaust, uh, yeah, it fires the exhaust fumes out to the side, so that'll do for us. And the rims are the ANC rims, fairly heavy duty. I'm not overly fussed over them. And I went for yellow, purely because it matches the crane, but you do have a few options with the custom ones. Well, not massive, but again, sometimes you don't want a massive selection. You'll spend all day choosing your colour schemes. Anyway, so that's what we've got. Let's get out. And let's take it up to the trailer store. He's not a bad looking truck. Again, I do like the look of the Royal BM, except for the vanilla snorkels. Those wheels do look Mad Max like heavy duty stuff. And for four forward gears, that's not at a bad speed. I think it was the other mod Royal BM-17 that I've used in the past. Oh, I've gone right past it. What am I doing? I'm going for a trailer, not for the pickup of the metal beams. Okay, you get a little bit of extra drive time without a trailer. I'm going in here. Get it drifted. Get it up on three wheels as well. Why not? Let's rally this thing. 
in those gooseneck trailers and that one there I could possibly sell I've not used them since I first used it and that one's never turned a wheel but I had in mind a trailer I want to stick on this let's see if I can find it oh this one is it this one here could well be I'm quickly going to buy this one and see if it is and I'm going to show you no nope, it's not that one Tell that. There's another GW and I figured out how to get the ramps out. Yay! So that will be getting used at some point. Trailer force. No, let's go. It was after the force slot. Not that one. I want the high spars. Oh. That one. That's the one I'm after. Okay. Extra fuel and a few repair parts. I'll come back to the trailer thing I'm going to show you as and when. But basically... The GW ones, you've got to press number... For me on the keyboard, it's number 5. That extends the ramps that I couldn't do before. I was just tapping through all my keys and eventually I found them. I was like, ah! Penny has dropped. Oh, well, not so much. We solved the problem. Um, as for, since we're just like talking about other things like that, the short and medium logs that we've been on the hunt for. I went back to the Mod.io website where Highway Hall in the region is and went down through the comments. And the latest comment also states they can't find the medium logs. So it looks like it's glitched out. That's all I can think has happened here and they're not available to us. So maybe Remo's going to have to come back. He's... This, region's been out for quite some time now so maybe Remo's going to have to go back in and do a wee update and re-upload it it's the only thing I can think of so Remo if, you, if you're still watching something for you to do, sorry bud anyway, right hey, we need some metal beams please we'll fit two in here nicely that's why I chose a four load head Boom. Okay, nicely ratcheted, strapped down as well. Okay, onwards. So, let's get out to the road. Ooh. Come on. Don't hit the fence. Then hit. Honestly. From here, we're going to go, map-wise, we can either go straight through the Ma Manchester Gateway from the highway, but then you've got a long way around to go. And we'll be doing two routes with this. So I'm thinking we're going to go back all the way around and come up through this smaller gateway here. And then we'll go the other way for the second drop off. And that's with the slabs. So I'm turning right and right again. And right again after that. Can we get moving? Doesn't like moving with that. Uh, Maybe a load in the low ratio there. But we're off. Nice little load. All good. And this Royal BM seems to fit with the crane and this trailer combo. No problem for turning. The trailer's far enough away from the, the crane to not cause any turning issues. Okay, let's go for this beautiful drive. It's a wee bit later in the day for us starting. It's probably, I think it was about 12 o'clock or thereabouts. It's probably into the afternoon now, so night time is probably going to sneak up on us sooner than we expect. Don't drift into the trailer. Okay. Oh, me and my big mouth are saying it was a nice day sure this game listens to me and then goes nope I'm going to troll you now well done this is our right hand towards the camp and the port but no extra help with the steering with this Royal BM as with vanilla no rear wheel steering or anything like that it seems to be very just a slight change up you know Nothing excessive. Trailer's starting to go. Come around.
I almost think now if the SnowRunner issue of asphalt or tarmac having issues with grip that they should just maybe not bother with asphalt and just give us a dirt road that you can travel fast like what Remo did. Just have we passed the entrance here? Yeah, we passed the entrance. It's the left back there. You can go up over the hill. You can just drive at full speed on those sort of like nice, easy, open off-road sections. Asphalt has definitely got some sort of an issue about it. Right. And again, another reason I've picked this trail is that little bit shorter. Um, because we're not going to get the bridge open in this first drop-off, so I've got to reverse turn. And as I recall, there's not an awful lot of room by that bridge for turning, and this way has got a junction just after we come through the gateway. It might be what we need for turning. Otherwise, I'm doing an awful lot of reversing. Well, saying that, I've just thought, if you go through a gateway and facing the wrong way, the game automatically turns you around. So that might be another reason to come in this way. Bit cheaty. No, it's so wet. Let's go inside the cab. It's a murky yellow colour. I thought it looked quite bright outside. It was definitely a little bit dirty. Along with the glass. I need to clean the windscreen. Come on, up you go. A nice, easy to read dashboard there for your speed, etc. Good visibility in this truck, actually. There's our gateway. <laughs> I'm just thinking that we're going to do this task, we're going to get the bridge opened up and we'll probably rarely ever get a chance to use it whereas in the past I've been trying to use it a couple of times now we go, go easy up, easy up right, let's go to Manchester and we skip that Go back outside. Where's the wee junction? So that, oh, that's not the best junction for reversing into. I'm sure we'll manage. We're only going up there. That was easy. Nice wee drive. Right, bye bye, Mel Beams. There we go. Back it up. Should we just test? I mean, I could easily, obviously, turn it. Or should we see if it does turn me around again? Sure it does. Right, back to Bennington for the next one. But what we'll do with the next one is we're going to come in from the other side. That will be a bit longer a drive, but at least it's, it's a bit different. Aha! Will that answer that question? Yes, you will always get turned around. Kinda knew it would be mad for them to send you through the gateway in reverse. The great big turning circle in the tunnel. They just won't tell you about that part. Right, okay, second part, but what I'm thinking is I'm gonna just get this guy back to the garage and the trailer truck in my own time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna park this guy here and we're gonna jump straight through to the, the next part. Here. That's a nice place. That's seen a bit green. Yes, there's worse places to park up for the night or for the day. Right, back to the garage. And I never know, I might need parts at some point soon. So maybe leaving him there's not a bad idea. 
So we needed another truck. Okay. Back to the garage. Truck. What should we drag out? There's the juggernaut. And do you know what? Yeah, let's bring out the juggernaut. He's new to the fleet and he's awesome. And we're going to need an awesome truck here. So let's deploy him. Uh, yeah, deploy. Just check he's got a low saddle. He does have a low saddle. That's all. Not a massive amount of um, options for this guy. And he has the tactical loading crane, but I don't know if that will be too tight. Should we try it and see? Because he doesn't get an awful lot of choice with the other cranes. Apart from that. And leave. It's going to be close, so I might need to do a jump cut edit and remove the tractor loading crane, because that's a beast of a crane. There's also a beast of a trailer we're going to be fitting it, well, the truck to. That's, that's going to be the issue. Hopefully it won't be a, an issue with the distance from crane to saddle. I'm kind of glad the trailer store is so close. I will not drive past this thing. Running circle, this guy is awesome! Plenty of room behind. Engine off to save that little bit of fuel of the 947 litres that we started with. Right, we're looking for the 8 slot trailer. Yes! We're going big. Um, only because the slabs are two slots each and we need four of them. And I thought, eh, this could be a good one for the eight slot if I can find it. It's the GW one. And do you know what? I'll bring you back when I find it. That'll be the easy thing. So I've got that many trailers now. It's ridiculous. In fact, there it is there. Don't even need to do it. Oh, high saddle. Didn't expect that. Hmm. Pause. Be right back. Okay, I'm back with the right saddle. And it fits nicely with this trailer. Well, that's a bonus. Anyway, this is a trailer I was wanting to use before. Um, for big pickups, it's still not massively wide, but it looks okay with this sort of thing. And this is a big truck. So maybe your wheels will be hanging off slightly. But it should still do the job if vehicles pack on this as I'm expecting they should do. If you can go to the back of the trailer now. Swing around and let me see the back. Yes, okay, let's fire up the truck. You should get another option up here. There it is. Use this and it's number five. <gasps> no, it didn't work. It works with the four one. Oh no, there it is. Is is that number six then? Oh no, it was number five. How bizarre. Okay, so there you go. Slots out nicely. And it's a decent angle for getting trucks up onto, not too steep. So this is a this is a good trailer. So this is is linked below again if you're interested. It's a GW trailer, mill trailer, for military. Oh, I like it a lot. Let's get back to the cab. Watch your ears in case it's noisy. Not too bad. Right, okay. We are good to go. And we're going to get some concrete slabs. Oh, I'm going to reverse. Let's not reverse. So I'm hoping that this will fit a nice set of concrete slabs on this and we can negotiate all the corners around here. Yeah, we'll, we'll cut a few corners, I think. Now we're going for concrete slabs. Where are they? They are in here. Are they? No, that's the metal. Hold on, I need to have a look at the map again. Where are we going? Right the way around to there. Okay. By the off-road scout fuel trailer. Fine, let's go.
This is a complete test. I'm, I'm optimistic that this trailer should hold this fine, considering it did say eight slot trailer, and we are picking eight slots worth of goods. It's an interesting texture. It looks very industrial. Kind of thing you'd expect to see a tank on or something. Slippery slidey, please. We might have to reverse out of here. Like when you hit the brakes, the nose dives. Really quite accurate. Right. Concrete slabs. Looking promising. There we go. Like a glove. Okay. Can we get turned anywhere in here with this size of trailer? Uh, I'm just going to reverse. This thing with the rear wheel steering will certainly help to get it turned on the road. So we're going back the same way. into a ditch. Yeah, was not too bad? Okay, now, now we're heading back to the highway. Let's just quickly stop and have a look. So it's back to the highway and through to Manchester. Through to Manchester, we've got a bit of a longer drive. That's fine. It'll be fun. It will be fun negotiating those roads. So, up to the highway, turn left. Okay. Our the engine back up again, and off we go. I should have done this contract a long time ago. And I think... I would have probably used that gateway, the small gateway, more often had that bridge been open. And especially if you're going to go from Bennington to Manchester with service or vehicle spare parts. Oh, it's going to be heavy. That's why I wanted a big truck. That's a seriously heavy trailer. When it's starting to slide out, this could get... Ooh. And I don't know how far this trailer will allow you to tip it over before the loads basically fall off. Dropping into high ratio before you start to climb the hill seems to be the trick for this guy because he just powers up in high ratio. Now the trick's going to be to get turned onto the road. Let's go for the official entrance instead of going down the exit. Mainly because of that telegraph pole. Okay, can we get turned here any easier? Might have to go on the grass a wee bit. Yeah, no problem there. Good. Again, a long trailer like this is definitely helped by the fact that this thing has rear wheel steering. Right, back to Manchester.
Okay, all set for the long drive. Oh, wrong button. I want to... That wasn't the wrong button. It was the right button to escape that. Intro, right. Let's look at the map and set the route. We are coming up here. Do we want to take the first left, but virtually, or the first right? Pass that. Right, now I'm going to try and cross here and round, because I've set up a truck on the bridge for the next job. Should this go really well? So we're going to try to get up here. Left of that one. And I'll be left of that one. And I'll be left of that one. So can I get over there? Yes, I can. Couldn't remember where that crash barrier started. I'll have to pretend that we've got a an escort vehicle stopping all traffic. One. Good start. Okay, I was concerned about that bit there. Now it's just a few junctions to negotiate. Just got to keep it out wide. Going to destroy enemy's mailboxes. Another one that's asking to be knocked down. Miles clear. day here in Manchester. How long before the rain appears now that I've said that? Even though it's an eight slot drill, I don't feel like it's really too much of the corner off. Oh. oh, just hit the crash barrier. Jumped out at me. That's deep to finish. I need to be on the right hand side. Loads of room here, no obstacles. Pretty good. Sometimes when you've got these multi-axle trailers, or even the the tractor units, the trucks themselves, you wonder where the pivot point is for them turning. Is it the first axle, the second or third? Like this one's got six axles at the back. At what point does the trailer turn? So I think worth testing that if we like get into a jackknife situation. Can we get moving? Yes, and we're off. I didn't think I'd get into high ratio there, but we did. So will if you spun that trailer round, what axle will that spin on? I'd like to think it was one of the middle ones. And I don't know if it would change depending on whether you've got a load at the back. Oh, really wide. But it pushes. You can quite tell there. I was kind of watching where I was going as well.
like I was saying, the reason I've come this way with the long trail is because we build, build the bridge on this one and I can carry straight on through back to Bennington and go around for dropping this trailer back off again. Or it's another case of do I park it up near the the other truck and trailer in case we need it for service or vehicle spare parts. I kind of want to use this truck again. Yeah, do not fall off this road. Yeah, I want to use this juggernaut again because I like it a lot. And if I leave it there apart, I might end up not coming back to that sort of task for some time. I might just end up getting it back to the garage. Well, we've one left here. I didn't prepare for that corner, but I think we'll be fine. Yes. Down we go. Excellent. That was fairly straightforward, other than my bad driving to the crash barrier. That went okay. I need to turn around. I can see if we're going to get a wee bit of a... I suspect we're going to get a cutscene. Yeah. Nice use of the concrete slabs. There we go. So that's unstable footing, and I highly recommend this is a contract you put up your priority list. And it says... Sure, it's nice to have that road open again. We really appreciate your help with this job. I'm sure you do. I'll appreciate having the bridge open. 6,500 cash, 1,200 XP. Excellent. So might as well test it out. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, that's a mighty fine bridge we've built. Beautiful waterfall in the back. Went into the higher gears. Park them here. In fact, no, let's just take them through. Let's escape at this thing. There we go. Get them out of this gateway box in case I jump something else through. You know, I want to find some trucks to put in the back of this trailer and test that out. Do you know how you could do that? Oh, look what we found here. A truck and a trailer. Right, let's do it. Let's close off this road for a wee sec while we test. Stop there, handbrake on. Gonna do that, and it was number five. You're gonna appear. That's strange, because I that is the I am definitely pressing number five, and that is not bringing it. So let's try six. Why is that not working this time? Oh, there you go. That seems to be a bit pernickety, guys. So, yeah, five eventually worked. So we've got the ramps are down, handbrake is on, let's put the engine off. Switch if we can. Oh, I can't reach. Right, back to the BM. I'm going to reverse back onto the road a little bit better. Realign. What is going to happen here? Nice and easy. Definitely easier doing it when you can drive on. Get the wheels out. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, that was close. A bit further. See that? Loads of room. Absolutely loads of room. Right. Stop. Binge truck. Can we lock them up? Start the engine. Let's 
Okay, I thought I'd still see the pack the trailer. Uh, okay, maybe we can't, but the trailer on a trailer does not pack. Come on, ramps, lift. I'm pressing four and then five, and when I do that, it seems to make the ramps work. Yeah, all red. That's a shame. I really thought you'd be able to pack this up on that trailer. Why have loading ramps like that if you can't do it? Unless it's because I've got a trailer on it. Right, so let's change truck again. I'm going to detach the trailer up here. There we go. Back to the dairy. Oh, there it goes. Now, is that classed as two separate items? It's probably because it was connected. Let's re-angle the camera slightly so we can see. Pack them up. Everything won't pack. Yes! Hey, that's impressive. I like this a lot. Dead easy to load. Loads of room. So this is a good one. And you can, I th you'll still be able to do that with the four-slot trailer variation of that trailer. How awesome. Solid. Huge chocks under the wheels. Right, so I could effectively take the whole lot back in one go. Right, I'm going to stop the truck here. Lovely. Good to know. I might or might not take everything back to the garage and trailer stores. I don't know yet. It's just in case there was anything in this part shop that we were after and we've got a truck right here. But it's no big issue to take it around from here. So we are going to jump on to, well, we do have a little bit more time. Let's go back to Manchester. This is the Bruxa, as it says there. This is the other Mr. Bus's mod truck of the Colob. So let's jump in that. I'm going to quickly show you that. And I want to go down here because I've, for some reason I have not activated dock replacement and boat launch bloopers tasks. Apparently boat launch bloopers is quite good. So, Colob, here we come. Right. As you see, there is the four slot version of that trailer. Hey, that doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, it's a four slot. And this is the Broxa. Roof rack, decent tires, does have rear wheel steering. And is, again, linked in the description below if it's something of interest to you, if you like the big trucks. Right, we're going to go. Let's get rid of that stock in the wood pile. Can't do anything with that at the moment. Let's get rid of that. We're not going over there. We are going to go straight on and down to there. Okay. Might be a bit more difficult with such a big truck to negotiate around the trees, but I don't know until we get there. Fire it up. Permanent diff lock. Nice. An optional wheel drive. 450 litre tank, so not crazy massive, but not tiny either. I think, does this one have, may have more options for repair parts and fuel and stuff when you're hitting your truck out. And because these trucks now fit the low saddle, I'm much more inclined to use them. I really like having the option, because before you felt like they were only used for one type of large high saddle job, and that was it. Not anymore. Right, okay, let's just nose into that. Activate it. This is dock replacement. Here's the broken dock. Ah, that's it there. Okay. So we didn't pull the dock out far enough last fall, and we are paying for it now. The ice destroyed it. We need our lum we need our limber. We need our lumber order picked up, please. Thank you. Accept it. So we'll, we'll not get you any limber, but the lumber. Yes, event oh no, I don't know if we can, because that might be. Oh no, we could, because it's planks. I was thinking if that's short or medium logs were snookered. That's what that is. 
6,500 cash, 750 XP. We'll stop tracking that now because we're not doing it just yet. But I think that there is the task we are looking at. So let's reverse back and go around. This one says, Boat launch bloopers. It's been a while since we've seen it, but it happened again the other day. Someone, someone one launch their truck with the boat. See if you can get it out. Someone one. Okay. But it's a Chevy Kodiak C70 as the reward. Okay, we'll accept and start tracking that. And that's the reason I kind of brought this trailer, so if I needed to, I could reverse the trailer into the water, use the winch points, try and uh, fish it out so I didn't have to put the truck too far into the water. We'll put it down that little slipway. Having this rear wheel steering on trucks is just so good. Okay, how far does the winch go is the next question. It's not too deep actually, that's actually very easy. Right, okay, forwards, handbrake on. Oh, easy. Easy distance, right? Low ratio, all will drive on. Let's pull this guy out. Gone. He's disappeared. Where are you? Oh, he's upside down. Get on your wheels. Yeah. Let's pull him over this way so I might be able to get him on his wheels a bit easier. Um, how shall we do this? Which room have we got to play with? I was wanting to get him on the trailer. That's, again, another reason why I bought this trailer is to show off, load it up. Let's just... Pull him onto his wheels up there. Up to get. Go. Round we go. Evening is drawing in fast. That looks pretty good. Right, let's get it around to the morning or the afternoon so we can all see nice and easy. A beautiful place for the for the evening. Oh yeah, it's a fine day for truck rescuing. Right. Get this. Five. Did that work? Oh. Again, I hit number four and then number five. Five then works. Really bizarre. Can't reach with that one. Okay, we're gonna have to. Oh, okay, the trailer ones are up in the air. It's interesting winch points, they're way off the truck. Now, hold on a sec. Is that the truck? Me. That's what it looks like. How can that even be so? Let's move to the back. I, okay, there's a slight glitch. I'm using the winch from this truck and it's activating as if it's from the Kodiak somehow. Okay. Back inside, let's reverse a bit further. Maybe that'll work a bit better. If I can reach him, yes I can, just. Eh? I'm winching from the truck to the tree now. I 
sometimes it just doesn't go to plan. Made perfect sense in my head. Oh, there we go. Can he catch the ramps though? Looking promising. Oh, he come. Keep coming. Come on, Kodiak. Right. Release the winch there. I want to pull him straight on now. There he goes. Need to be too far forward to put the weight over the back wheels. Nice. Let's get these things back up again. Five. Nope. Four. Nope. Five after four. Works. Okay. It is what it is, as long as it works. And now I need to pack them up. Yep. I don't see any chalks on them, but it's showing us packed, which is the main thing. Yeah, he's there. Right, where are we off to? Yay, we've got another truck. Where are we going? Boat launch bloopers. We are taking him over towards the garage. Okay, that's nice. So back up onto the highway and first exit. We go. Don't need all-wheel drive now. Sorry, barrier. I can imagine if you didn't use a trailer to go and fish this guy out of the water, then you need a tall truck. Or one with a pretty high snorkel. Could be fun though, but that wasn't too... That wasn't too difficult. Must admit, I was quite curious as to what the vehicle was that was in the water. It wasn't very obvious from what you could see. Nice cheeky little Kodiak. This is a good setup as well. I'm just noticing you've got two spare tires in the trailer. You've got two here. Apparently, you've got two in the roof. That's if you're going rescuing a truck and it needs a full set of wheels, then that's not bad. And then you can get them up onto this trailer. Easy round the corner. Feels like I'm at that threshold speed of the trailer, not really wanting to drift out behind you and overtake. It does slightly. Now that we're going downhill, it'll probably try and do it all the time now. Mm -hmm. Don't need to worry about fuel because we're going to go back to the garage after this. Old oh, trailer. In fact, stop. I wanted to go down there, didn't I? Could have been nasty. A little bit strange, but you can't see the... It feels like the Kodiak's dropped into the trailer just slightly and you can't see the chocks that are holding it in place. Yet the other trailer was absolutely fine. But, uh, like I said, as long as it works. going to go into that little corner, is he? There's the other one that I dropped off, the per tire 
TYR, whatever you want to pronounce it. I got to get into that corner somehow. Ooh, sorry, car. Sorry. That's my car. I, it's my run around. Honest. Oh, it's in. That counted. Ooh. Get out. Hey, that's boat launch bloopers done. Into the zone. Nice work. Oh, nice work on that one. The owner must be embarrassed, but we had a good time. Did we? Okay. Yes, we did. 5,000 cash, 1,000 XP, and we've gained the truck. So we can unpack them. And stop. Change truck. Kodiak. Yeah, it's definitely needing to go in for a wee bit of a service. Move to the garage. Yay! Retain. Yeah, T my arse. Let's put him back in the garage since we're here. There we go. Retain. And back out to Kolob Broxa. Again, another truck, guys, that I do recommend if this is your thing. Powerful, versatile, having the low saddle just adds so much more to these big brutes of machines that this, it's just nice to be able to use them now properly. So I'm going to call that an episode. We've done two very good tasks. Got a bridge open, always a bonus, and we gained a truck. What more could you ask for? Thank you so much for watching. You'll see me again soon. Bye for now.